Two problems, sensor a computer. Back to modeling our building plot. I expected both of these snags really. The digger came back and it was time to fly again. Lots of earth moved. My Pix4D free version kept crashing when trying to load more than 400 GoPro images. And that says more about my PC than the software. The PC is fast enough for everything I do for work. It's really having to do more than it's capable of when making 3D point clouds. Pix4D did produce a great point cloud, but my system struggled. So I tried AggieSoft and was met with the same issue really, slow processing with frequent crashes. Now it's either buy a new PC or let somebody else's machine do the heavy lifting. There are several cloud-based services out there. Just for giggles, I thought I would first return to the granddaddy of them all, Microsoft Photosynth. Microsoft released a version of Photosynth in 2008 that allowed you to create your own point clouds. Structure for motion was becoming all the rage. Photosynth worked, produced a point cloud which can be extracted with third-party software, but it's showing its age, and I might just be asking too much for free here. Next, I delved into the world of Autodesk offerings. Over the years, there have been several different names for their programs. On clicking the one I had, they pointed me to the latest, Remake. It only allows 250 images in the free version, and of course I'm too cheap to fork out $20 a month for the paid version. That says it stacks up very well at that price against Pix4Ds, which is $350 a month if you rent it. In fact, you can take two years full use of Remake for $360, just $10 more than a month of Pix4D. Remake does not come with all the measuring bells and whistles that Pix4D does, but if like me, you just want an occasional model, it might be just the job. So after uploading my 250 images, I waited for no more than 15 minutes for my model to arrive, and very impressed I was too. A second problem that has been nagging away, my sensor. The GoPro 3 I am using really has a very small usable bit of sensor. Pixels either side, blurred and stretched for the wide angle. For action video, of course, it's great. As a precision sensor, not so much. Another problem, it also lacks a GPS, something that um, photogrammetry software really likes these days. So I think it's time to find another sensor with GPS and start playing with other software that's out there.